gift haul time. I know it's late, but yeah. Okay. I saw this when I walked in. I was like, yep, I have to get that for Tony. He loves Scooby. It's a pretty good size Scooby. It's from Six Flags. Manufactured exclusively for Six Flags. Um, he was $4. He has a couple loose... Um, like one of the, and like his paw, one of these is loose. If anybody knows how to fix that, let me know so I can fix it. But yeah, he's cute. He grabbed this country casual hand painted stoneware Japan. People like the stoneware, restaurant wear. It's 50 cents. So, I didn't think that was bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a very horribly done homemade ceramic. <laughs> I saw it and I, I had to get it. This thing weighs a ton. It's like, it feels like it's solid concrete. Um, but, yeah, look how bad of a job. This is just terrible. <laughs> It's two dollars. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, I'm gonna try to sell him. I can't sell him. Um I guess he could go out in the garden. I love elephants, so yeah. Um, oh yeah, it says Elvis down there on the bottom. And then it says Elvis Presley on the back. Just in case somebody didn't know who it was. <laughs> um, worst comes to worst. Like some Kathy's down here. <laughs> Visiting Gatlinburg. I'll send this home to her daughter, Keetra, who also loves Elvis. Sort of as a gag gift. <laughs> and yeah, the lighting, my... Yeah, the light changes. The, you know, something's changing. I know, I noticed it. I saw this and I just thought it was really neat. It's a wall clock. It's wood, but like the pieces bend. So you can actually, yeah, you could set that up on your desk if you wanted. But, yeah, I just thought it was really neat. Needs a battery. But four dollars. Also four dollars was Walt Disney Treasures, the Hardy Boys, the Mickey Mouse Club. 1956 through 1957. Um, unlike Disney VHS, don't buy Disney VHS. It's not worth anything. There's like one that's worth something. Um. These sell for really good money. I paid four dollars, but I should be able to get around twenty-five plus shipping. All right, this was Rule Austria. This little dish, fifty cents. It's really pretty. It has the number 87 written on it. But. Got a DeWalt coffee mug. It's good sized. It was 50 cents. Then I got this. This is so cute. Expose yourself to sewing. <laughs> that is so cute. Uh, this is by In Stitches TLC Greetings, a division of my call pattern company. 
so yeah. Oh, that was cute. more stuffed animals. Okay, this is a Coles Cares. They do a lot of PBS toys. Not PBS, um, Dr. Seuss. And this is an older one. This is 1985. I don't know what character this is. It looks familiar, but I don't know. And I don't know individual prices on most of this. But for all of these stuffed animals, it was $10. Now this one did have an individual price. And I was like, $3 is kind of high. But I also think it'll sell. People love Care Bears. And look, it's got booty pajamas on. And yes, it opens to show its little booty. <laughs> so that was really cute. I got this Chia Pet stuffed animal. Let me see if it had a date anywhere on it. But I don't see a date. It has something inside of it, so it used to do something, but I don't know nothing no more. I got one of these little the dog. Artiste collection. So cute. You know, I had the really huge one. I decided just to read, not read, but <laughs> to donate that because it weighed a ton. It was huge. So I didn't want to fool trying to ship it. This I knew was old because I have one and I still have it. It's a Winnie the Pooh Eeyore plush backpack hanger. Um, it's from McDonald's. I do wonder what year this was. I think it was like 2000 or so. And I got this super cute little Furby backpack clip. Look at that black and pink. Awesome colors. Um... This one doesn't have a date either. It is McDonald's Corporation. So oh, stinking cute. Then I got a Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, 2016. I don't even know the name of this character, but that's what it looks like. Now, I have to wash this little guy. Well, actually, I don't know if I can wash him because he's holding a pumpkin. But, I don't know. Maybe that'll come off with some, I, I don't know. But somebody decided to put blush on it. I don't think it's supposed to have that. Anyway, this is Hallmark. Come on. Okay, you can't see that, but... Oh, there we go. Hallmark. This was... I was really hoping it'd have a date. It doesn't have a date. But it's cute. It was a dollar. And the last thing from that sale... Jordan Toon Squad from Space Jam. Nineteen ninety six. I was in middle school. <laughs> Holy crap, that was a long time ago. So I don't know how well he'll do this by himself, but I mean, you know, being out of his box and everything, but for two dollars, you know, I wasn't gonna leave him behind.
we got some vintage Christmas stuff in this box, which will yeah, hold on till till next year. I can't remember if this has a lid or not. This is Christmas treasure, Jamestown China Action Industries Incorporated, Japan. That is fifty cents, and this is my. I don't know if this was during the half off or not. Yeah, actually it was. So it was, because eventually it went 75% off, but this was half off. These glasses were 50 cents a piece. Got that frosted with the gold wreath. It's so pretty. Um, so I got four of these. what that's for. I mean, is this to put potpourri in or what? Anyway, it was 25 cents so I wouldn't leave it. Got a 1989 Hallmark Cards stocking hanger. This was $2 but I got it for a dollar. Oh, can't wait till next Christmas. I know Christmas was just, I don't care. I'm always ready for next Christmas. And I got a set of Christmas mugs for 50 cents a piece. Got that beautiful embossed with Christmas trees. No mark in the box. Oh yeah, these are um A R O wait, A R C-O-R-O-C I think that was right because it's backwards Got a doll stand for $6 it was originally f I mean they retail for 14 the price is still on it you can't see it but yeah it's right there and this is for Tony's what did you get this for? This doll stand, it was a Deadpool something. Oh, the Build a Bear Deadpool? Oh, yeah, he got this for the Build a Bear Deadpool to display. I didn't know you got one. Yeah, it came out of the box. I don't think it's like, you saw it? <laughs> okay, he's got one. I, could, I didn't know, <laughs> but he has one. And this is to display. I still think it's awesome that Build a Bear came out with a Deadpool. <laughs> That's just. Got this super cool ornamation Noma collect collectible ornament. Now, way back in the day, because you can tell that's an old sticker. It was nine ninety five, but got it for two dollars, so I paid a dollar. It's from nineteen eighty nine, and the way it works. First of all, so it's, it's a little elf. The way it works is you hook it into your Christmas lights. You actually hook it into one of the bulb holes and it moves. How cool is that? I think it'll sell really well. And if it doesn't, that's fine. I'll keep it. But he's like on a um, weather vane. So I guess he's getting blown around and he's looking for something. That was really cool. A set of four of these, so they ended up being a dollar fifty for. They are filthy. A dollar fifty for all four of them. This is Corel by Corning. This is really simple hallway pattern. So should be able to sell them for fifteen bucks or so. Space. <laughs> oh, 
probably so irritating. Now, I've had this sitting for a while, so some of this stuff is a surprise for me. This is N-I-K-C-O. No, it's N-I-K-K-O. And it's from Japan. It was $1.50. Definitely got some crazing on it. I don't know if you can see that. But, just a little lidded box. I'll probably list it as a trinket box if I can't find another one like it. So I know what it is. Now this item isn't Christmassy. Um, I'm not sure who made these. These were 50 cents. These weren't um, on sale, but these vintage nautical glasses. And I've got a few others, and they're all different. Got this little snowman bell. He was a dollar, so he was 50 cents. And he is marked. Make it easy. <laughs> Come on, get your yeah junk out of the way. You can't see it, okay. but it's um it's a blue Japan sticker and it's in cursive. was 50 cents. This is a love mug in Korea. Needs a good washing. <laughs> Basic itchy. I got this thing that <laughs> buying the pieces of it the other day thinking oh you just put it together like, like a puzzle on a flat surface but no this is um tetra tetra tracks and you pull a card and then whatever piece you put it down in the little slots so yeah I was like hey um because I saw it there when I was checking out the other day, the person was like, um, did you get the other thing that goes with it? And I'm like, I don't think anything else goes with it. No, I, I left and then I came back today and I was like, oh, okay, that was supposed to go with it. And they were just like, yeah, take it. You bought the rest of it, so take it. It's <laughs> another one of the gold mugs that I have nowhere to put. They're not mugs, but glasses. I want another one of the Christmas tree glasses. My hair's freezing. Oh my god, is my hair freezing? It's snowing outside. It's so awesome. Christmas mug. 
great. Look at these. These are super vintage. These were a dollar. So they've been 50 cents. I'll be really surprised if these aren't Japanese. Just from the looks of them. I think it's a holly berry on black. And there's, there's five of them. I don't like odd numbers. So I'll probably sell four. <laughs> sell them as a pack of four and throw in the extra one. And my chair is really squeaky. So that's what that noise is. But these salt and pepper shakers from Japan. After the discount, here's another one of the vintage nautical cups. I'll probably wait and list those closer to summer home. Here's another one. This one, yeah, the colors on these are just great. I guess I only found three of those. Okay, this was 30 cents or 15 cents. Dear God Kids, 2003, Intercontinental Greetings Limited. This is Dear God Christmas is Love. A little porcelain ornament. This little planter, it is not vintage, but well, it's made in Taiwan. It's um, oh, it came from the 90s, I'm guessing. It's two dollars, I don't care, it is super cute. So, yeah, it doesn't need to be cleaned. You can use it like looks like somebody already did use it for a planter. Use it for a planter, you can use it for a candy dish. Whatever. <sighs> um, this was originally from Big Lots for five dollars. I paid it up for a dollar. I don't know if I'll keep it. I kind of want to keep it, but I, I really don't need another wall sign. Um, happiness is not a destination. It is a way of life. It's got birds on there. It's teal. Kathy, you need to buy this. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll send you the link when I list it. Oh, seriously though. Um, that's really pretty. I'll probably list this on Poshmark. dollar but since it was Christmas it was 50 cents um, this is the Christmas almanac it says um, have you ever wondered why we put Christmas gifts under the tree while we decorate the tree with ornaments and lights how to say Merry Christmas in more than 40 different languages how to make pfeffer, pfeffer noose I think that's how you say it and wassail 
how to sing O Tannenbaum. From around the world and across the centuries comes the Christmas Almanac, the ultimate Christmas compendium. In one great volume, you'll find holiday traditions from Armenia to Venezuela, stories of famous figures, real and mythical, international recipes, sheet music, a list of Christmas movies, explanations of quirky customs, and much, much more. Christmas in the Bible, Christmas, Christmas traditions from around the world, Christmas music, Christmas on the page, Christmas on film, Christmas on the table, Christmas decorations, Christmas on the calendar, Christmas trivia. So, I thought that looked awesome. I will probably keep this, and then after I read it, sell it. old or anything it's, well it's probably you know about 20 years old or so it's 30 cents um probably sell it on Poshmark I'm not sure it says never cakes or hardens Morton's free running salt it pours um, when it rains it pours so, ah, now I get why they had the little girl in the umbrella because it didn't cake no idea. I was like, why is there, why is that, you know, of course, I never really questioned it until now, but, yeah, why was it, well, no, I know. So, Morton Salt Company, address Chicago. So, I really like that, especially for 30 cents. And then, last but not least in this haul, this was 50 cents, I got it for a quarter, um, I don't know where this came from or how old it is, and I know it's going to be a pain in the butt to ship it, but it was a quarter, like I said. It's just this vintage looking Santa on a rocking horse with a little girl and her doll. So, that is it. Thanks for watching. Um, I've still got so much more stuff to haul, but I'm going to list some stuff, and I will see you later. So be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. The links to all our stores are down in the description box below. Just hit read more or show more or whatever it says, and you'll see them all. We're on Poshmark, Macquarie, eBay, and Etsy. And if you just want to buy something directly from us, just tell us. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye.